come from off the street fights, they bring a tech, tech, tech. Hey, King J, what we tell him? Tell him. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. Yo, what's going on? It is your boy, King J. We have Project L new footage. I might be a day late. I apologize. I've had some real life stuff I've had to take care of and it's not been the greatest, but this might be it. So we're going to get into it because, yo, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to see that there's more Project L stuff because we have the Tekken 8 stuff that's coming as well. And this, this is going to be crazy. So yeah, let's get into it. So let's have a look. Oh, man. So that must be the that must be the head office. Hi everyone, this is Tom from the Project L team. I'm back with our second promised update this year. Our last two updates focused on the big picture. We're a free to play tag team fighter set in the universe of Runeterra. <laughs> I know at this point you're probably itching for some details. Yes. So this time we're gonna send the year off right with a deep dive into some of our core systems. Okay. But first, here's a quick update on Alawi. We revealed Alawi in our update last August. Back then, Alawi was in the initial DNA phase of development, where designers, narrative writers, and artists explore concepts for the character's visuals, thematics, and overall kit design. Over the past few months, the team has taken Alawi from concept to an early playable form. Alawi is now live in our internal playtests, with this early draft of her model and kit. What you're seeing here is about 30% complete. Yo, why does the game look like this? This looks quite cool. What the? Let me see. What you're seeing here is about 30% complete. Right now, the team is focused on fully realizing the combat fantasy as a big body brawler and Bro. the mechanics of our tentacle attacks. Meanwhile, the art team continues to Bro, work on this models, sick. animations, sound, and VFX. She's still got a lot of work to be done, and that means it's time to talk about our big update for today. Project L's gameplay. Gameplay? Okay. Hey everyone, I'm Sean Unconquable Rivera, game director and gameplay design lead for Project L. And I'm here to talk you through some of our core gameplay principles. Let's go. We want to create a game where you can have fun right away while also Ooh, rewarding you for the a time you spend mastering it. Our dream is making sure our champions have fast, powerful abilities, look really sick while doing them, and are even more powerful when paired with flexible systems. Bro. Gameplay that has quick, fluid movement at its core is extremely important to us. We believe there are a ton of opportunities. Hey, long live the twins, boy. Mastery through how you move. For Project L, you can walk, run, dash, chain dash, jump, long jump, and super jump. What was what was that? Uh, do you go on the other side of him? Whoa. You can walk, run, dash, chain dash, jump, long jump, and super jump. And on top of that, it's kind of like King of Fires vibe going on. Have their own unique air mobility options. Air dash. Putting your champ in the right place at the right time is a skill that you can gradually get better at over time. This game looks cool. Oh, it's looking sick. This means making sure that your offense is rewarding. Woo! Woo bounce. bounce. This means making sure that your offense is rewarding and that your buttons are worth pressing. Plus, oh, these combos look sick. Playing and watching more exciting. Jeez. We want you to have powerful buttons, which are useful in a number of ways, while also giving you the tools you need to defend against. So that looks like you can kind of defend and push the them away. A big, clear is that tag? Is that two people? Nuance systems that reward you for reading your opponent's next move. Those are just some of the basics, but I've still got more to cover today. Tell me, tell me. We were originally developing Project Dell to be a 1v1 game where two champions enter and one emerges victorious. But around two Ooh. years ago, we made the pivot to a tag team assist based fighter. Ooh, this is going to be mad. Are deep and flexible, aimed at helping you unlock your creativity. They work in tandem with our champions, allowing two champion teams to take down opponents together. We really felt like it gave us more space to create hype moments where our wow. champions could live up to their fantasies. And I mean, who doesn't love a good team fight? Oh, I love team fighting games. Look at these combos. Jeez. Oh, and you could tag the person back in. Oh, I thought it was an assist. Oh, okay. What? 
So how's this gonna work? Is it you have to kill both of them or you have to kill them one bar? Yeah, this this is looking crazy. This is looking crazy. I you could tag in safe. What is I know Project L is looking nuts. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Uh, uh, no, 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 that combo swag. No, no. All right, let's break down some of the things you just saw. Your main champion, which we'll call your point, and your assist champion can set up some killer combos using all of our tag systems. But for today, I want to focus on three of them. Assist actions. Okay. Handshake tag. So they can assist. So they can assist. These names aren't locked, so they may be called something different the next time you see them. Okay. Assist actions are your bread and butter. So it's like Marvel vs. Capcom. They can perform from off screen. So you can bring someone in and attack and then jump back. To get a charge assist. Oh, you can hold it to get a charge assist on long distance. You immediately swap between your point and assist champions as long as they're both on screen. Uh, with assist actions, it also lets you set up some really powerful pressure sequences, and you can even use these to extend your. Oh, uh, so they stay on the screen after they attack, and you could switch. That's sick. Dynamic save, Project L's combo breaker. At the start of each match, Project L's combo breaker. Your dynamic save ability. Uh, dynamic save lets you call your assist champion on screen in an attempt to save your point champion. If successful, oh. the results can be explosive. But that is time, crazy. If you're being too yo, yo, sorry, sorry. I don't mean to keep pausing this. Do you know how much of the mind games is going to be there? Because you're going to think, oh, yeah, you can do that. So it's like Guilty Gear Strive's burst or Guilty Gear burst or combo breaker. And then you could do more damage. I'm assuming it's going to be something like that. This is kind of crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Especially in a tag format. What? But be careful about timing your dynamic save because it can be countered if you're being too predictable. There's still more to uncover about our gameplay, but that's all we're ready to share for now. Oh my Thanks gosh, man. Back to Tom to say goodbye. <sighs> Yo. Thanks, Sean. We're pretty pumped about how things are coming together. And I hope you are too. I definitely have, but I'm not going to lie. Let us know what you think. Also, thanks to all the tournament organizers who met with us at EVO last summer to share your thoughts, feelings, and hopes for Project Bell's community and competitive scene. We're making this game with you in mind, and we want to empower you to keep pushing our community forward. Finally, for those of you out there looking to get into fighting games for the first time, try finding a local scene in your area. Fighting games, like most things, are way better when they're enjoyed with friends. FGC folks, help the new folks out by sharing your links in the comments. That's it. <laughs> Thanks so much for everything. Hey, that sounded very English for me. That sounded very English for me. You said FGC folks. Try finding a local scene in that is hilarious. Fighting games, like most things, are way better when they're enjoyed with friends. FGC folks, help the that sounded so friends. English when you said FGC folks. That is so funny. Listen, hats off to these guys. Oh my, that, I'm really looking forward to this game. This game is looking, yeah. We might do a video where I'm talking about like, who would be in League of Legends because I've seen there's some champions and stuff like that, and I've very much rarely dabbled into it but i want to see the character designs so maybe that's the next video that i could do and you lot can check it out but you lot could also subscribe so you don't miss it but yeah i'm looking forward to this game i love the tag system i love the mechanic where you know you could save your character from getting comboed but then you also will get like you can get baited into it and then get comboed the combo system looks amazing where you can bring your characters it looks very easy and friendly as well uh, i remember they were talking about like just direction inputs Hopefully that's still in the game. But yeah, this is looking really fun. Let me know what you lot think in the comment section. We'll be on to the next video. Take easy, everyone. Peace. Simmer down. Sim simmer down. Simmer, simmer now. Couple kicks to your boat. I'm a winner now. Like Eddie with the feet. I'm a killer now. Killer now. Killer now. Simmer down. Simmer, simmer now.